Or after pharmacists alerted police to suspicious prescriptions being called in under real doctors' names for fake patients. So, look, man. NBA Young Boys, Louisiana <laughs> chimes going off crazy. NBA Young Boys, Louisiana accent might have just sent him back to jail. Definitely got him back in legal trouble from Utah. You know, he's been on Grave Digger Mountain. Why he been out there? He allegedly been setting up this whole dr federal drug ring and the feds then sent them back to Baton Rouge. Check out this news clip. Let me know what y'all think. I'm going to try to bring y'all more videos on a consistent basis, especially when I know it's artists who y'all rock with, like Youngboy. I ain't really the biggest Youngboy fan, but it's the Hip Hop Lab. And I know y'all really into it. So if y'all want more videos like this, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. I'm Meantime, an arrest warrant issued for Baton Rouge rapper NBA Youngboy after another arrest in Utah this week. A judge here responded by revoking his house arrest. He's accused of running a fraudulent prescription drug ring. News to best casually with the interesting way he was busted. Well, Sylvia, the rapper may be good at making music, but according to police, he has no future in acting as a bad impersonation is part of what got him caught. Baton Rouge's NBA young boy, real name Kentrell Galden, is in some major legal trouble once again. I love you. All while on house arrest in Utah. I don't wake up in no cell. For a slew of federal weapons charges here in Louisiana. Ma, I can smoke a cigarette here. According to this 10-page affidavit filed by officials in Cache County, Utah, Golden is accused of running a large-scale prescription fraud ring. He's facing 62 counts of forgery and identity theft. And today here in federal court, a motion was filed to revoke his pretrial release and force him to come back to Baton Rouge. I just want to be better than yesterday. Judge Shelley Dick signed that motion and issued a warrant for his arrest this afternoon. Once all this behind me, mm -hmm. Move the, year for some the investigation into Golden began in January of this year after pharmacists alerted police to suspicious prescriptions being called in under real doctors' names for fake patients. Around that same time, the 24-year-old appeared on a podcast where he discussed the pressures of being under house arrest. That's just got to be stressful because at all times, you know, you're kind of under a microscope. Uh, now. It kind of make you. It kind of make you do right. It forces you to, to, to maybe not make certain decisions you would have made. Yeah. Do you think it works? Yeah. All the while, Utah police allege he was scamming pharmacists to get prescription cough syrup. Police were able to nab Galden and his friends for the scheme when they called the alleged 71-year-old woman who the prescriptions were supposed to be for. To the officer, it was obvious a young male was trying to impersonate an older woman's voice. Golden has denied he knew this was going on. According to Golden's attorney, he is still in jail in Utah and no bond has been set. If he bonds out, he will be arrested and brought back to Baton Rouge.